Mills, wisp mills that are still standing. It's pretty tight, but I'm gonna come around through here. Try and give you a, an idea, but they do. They have it fenced off. You see a lot of the old foundation, and if you look further out there, you can see the dam. But you know, I'm sure there are so many people that have come out here and tried to take advantage of something and try to drop off there, you gotta be careful. But the mill set on the other side, uh, and you, you could even go, there's a place you could get in underneath at one time, but you see all the original foundation and all the original steps and then uh, a few years ago you could walk right down these steps and right on in there but anymore looks like they have uh, kept it intact maybe for historic value but Go around to the other side there, there's some people down there fishing. And we will get you a better view. shaded picnic and I think there's a boat ramp down at the end down there
put a full a full size boat down in here. Maybe. Give you a shot of it. And again, it's the East Fork, and I put in there myself in an older boat that it was hard to get started sometimes and I always had it in the back of my mind listen if I don't get this thing started under power I'm gonna get pushed off this dam down here which I'll show you now get out and I'll walk around a little bit and try and give you some scenery I'm gonna come down here park in the shade though There you go, Walter Hill Dam and Mill, that's a big one there. Back in the 90s, you could drive all the way down on the other side. I guess the water wheel center of the camera probably set in there. And as you can see, uh, it's one of the uh, last ones that's in pretty, pretty full intact. And again, I'll try and find some old pictures and posts for you. Damn, it's about, it looks about 16 feet tall. And again, in the 90s, you could come out and drive all the way down in there. And you could camp. get away with staying overnight down here camping. They just don't let you do that anymore. But I had forgotten really how tall this dam is. You see the new bridge there. narrow trails to get down in here and a lot of people out today enjoying it pretty neat though right it's a little bit different view you can see there where the water channels in behind that wall and turn the uh, water wheel. And I will tell you, it's probably been 20 years ago, the statute of limitations has run out on that, but whenever uh, there was a really rocky road it came down beside the mill and you come all the way down under the old bridge and camp here or there but I have crossed this in a 91 Jeep Laredo it's like the sports they make water came midway up the doors no water got in the vehicle and there's a very there was a very steep incline that went up the side of the bridge and I may walk up there and see if it's still there I doubt that it is but I climbed all the way up out of there with it. My brother chose to get out of the vehicle when I got to the top. It was washed away. 
but the Jeep powered right out of it. And he said, standing in front of it, the front wheels came probably two feet off the ground to get over the washout. And then uh, back on the highway, perfect alignment. We have a very similar Jeep Sport now. But you won't catch me trying to do that anymore. That was back years ago. All right, a little bit different view on top of the dam. A lot of people out here enjoying it today. The original stonework. Watch my step here. And I'll give you a side view. The falls. 